It's said when a swan dies, it emits one last long, beautiful note. This is referred to as a swan song. This painting, Wheatfield with Crows by Vincent van Gogh, could be considered his swan song. It's thought to be his last painting before shooting himself fatally. Van Gogh spent his last years at an asylum, suffering from mental health issues. However, he was permitted to leave the grounds to paint the nearby landscape during the day. This was undoubtedly one of the most productive periods of his life. What do they say, a, a candle burns brightest before it goes out? At this time, Van Gogh began using a double square canvas, a canvas twice as wide as tall, which is actually more in keeping with the landscape format. This is a very dark painting. Here we have a wheat field on a windy day under a dark, turbulent sky. We're standing at the point of three diverging paths, one going left, another right, and center. A murder of crows descends upon the field, flying about helter-skelter. His painting style is expressive. Thick, with loosely applied paint, he worked quickly. And in this particular painting, it seems he couldn't lay down the oil paint fast enough. There is no attempt to refine his technique, just slashes of color on the canvas surface. We know from his correspondence that Van Gogh introduced subtle symbolism into his paintings. For instance, these diverging paths represent ambivalence or indecision, a crossroad in the painter's life. The crows can be seen as harbingers of death, rebirth, and resurrection. Crows are also scavengers, picking at dying plants and decaying flesh. Some weeks later, Van Gogh shot himself in the chest with a pistol. The bullet missed vital organs and lodged against his spine. He was able to walk back to the asylum where he received basic medical care. His brother Theo came to visit him the next day, finding Vincent sitting up in bed in good spirits, smoking a pipe. However, later that day, an infection took over and he died the next day. Some conjecture a link or causal relationship between this painting and his death. However you want to interpret it, it is a beautiful last note from this great painter. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your Two Minute Masterpiece. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about First Art Gallery, view the video below. To see our other Two Minute Masterpiece videos, click on the playlist.